Greetings to all our friends in regions beyond. I want to bring a passage to encourage us today. It's from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3. Very familiar passage, but I want to read it. Verse 17. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vine, though the olive crops fail, and the field produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stall, the scripture best describes what is happening today. The cities are under lockdown. The nations are in turmoil. The economy is in shambles. In India, in the last 10 days, 40 million people lost their jobs. And I don't know what's going to happen in the coming days. The food supply is, is affected in the cities of our nation. And... Habakkuk wants to speak to us in a time like this. The nation of Israel went through a similar time when the Babylonians invaded them. You know, there was fear, there was uncertainties, and the Habakkuk speaks to them. He says, God is in control. Verse 18, it says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Brothers and sisters, you know, things does not look so good. But yet as Christians, as believers, as disciples of Jesus, we can rejoice in the Lord. And we can be joyful in God our Savior. He is on the throne. He is ruling and reigning in majesty. Maybe his coming is soon. But it's a time to strengthen ourselves. Verse 19, it says, The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on heights. My prayer is that, that we will find strength in our God. And we will together go on heights. We, might, we will find what God is up to. And the same Habakkuk says in chapter 2 verse 14, it says, The glory of the Lord shall fill the earth as waters cover the sea. And I believe through whatever is happening, the glory of the Lord, shall fill the earth as waters cover the sea. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. May we find encouragement in one another as the Lord encourages daily.